Hey everybody, it's Cole Powell from Core Performance here to bring you an instruction video on the QSR specific Ice Case thermal management tool for iPad. This year, we've packed Ice Case with an array of new improvements that are all new for 2022. Today, we're going to go over what's in the box, how Ice Case works, setting up your Ice Case, and care and maintenance. Let's start by going over what's in the box. Inside your box, you're going to have the Ice Case chassis with wrist strap, two ice block cooling batteries. Depending on the iPad, you select an iPad adapter plate, magnetic sunshield, then we have two optional add-ons, the magnetic sunshield with Veltex and our ice case strap kit. Now let's talk about how ice case actually works. Ice case is packed with a ton of great features that are going to allow you to turbocharge the productivity of your organization. It all starts right here with ice block. Ice block is essentially a battery full of phase change material that when frozen is able to cool the iPad using conduction, pulling heat out of the iPad due to sunlight or ambient heat. Ice blocks are designed to be used like a magazine. Once the ice block is depleted, swap it out with a fresh one to keep your iPad running cool and maximize your uptime. Ice blocks will last from 30 to 90 minutes depending on the conditions of your environment and will refreeze in about 30 minutes, so always keep around extra ice blocks in the freezer so you can swap out. To add to the ice case's thermal protection capabilities, we have our two different magnetic sun shields. The magnetic sun shield features monolithic Tigris construction. This makes it extremely durable and ultra lightweight. The magnetic sun shield easily snaps into the speed slots on the side of the ice case. The magnetic sun shield with Veltex is covered in a hook receptive loop fabric to easily attach menus, card readers, and training guides. These two straps make up our ice case strap kit, which allows you to clip in to our ice plate hydration backpack, ice vest high vis class two and type O and ice vest black. Now let's start setting up your ice case. First, you'll need your iPad. Ice case was designed for the iPad 10.2, but using our adapters like this one here, allows you to use any iPad that falls inside the 10.2's footprint. If your organization decides to upgrade or switch, and the new iPad falls inside that footprint, all you need is a new adapter piece. Designing future-proof solutions like these adapters is a foundational element to the philosophy here at Core Performance. Once you have your iPad by itself or paired with an adapter, you're gonna insert it into the chassis just like any other iPad case, going around the corners, making sure everything is seated correctly. Make sure that the charging port on your iPad is lined up with the charging port hole on the ice case chassis. You'll notice that the power and volume buttons are covered when the iPad is installed in the case to prevent them from being pushed accidentally. This was a key feature that our existing QSR customers requested to maximize team productivity. You won't be able to physically press the power button, but you can use Apple's accessibility features to access the power button from the screen instead. Next, you'll take one of your ice blocks and slide it into the chassis into the slot and you'll hear an audible little click and that means you're ready to rock and roll you're ready to work now we'll go ahead and install our magnetic sun shield you just take to the sides insert those little tabs into the speed slots and you'll hear an audible click to know it's in place ready to work after that you'll just slip on the wrist strap and you're all secure now if you have our Ice Vest High Vis Class 2, Ice Vest High Vis Type O, our Ice Vest Black, or our Ice Plate Hydration Backpack, you can use the optional Ice Case Strap Kit to clip the Ice Case in and use Ice Case hands free. Like so. Now the Ice Case is connected to the Vex. I can walk around and work completely hands-free. I don't have to worry about dropping my iPad. The iPad is perfectly positioned, ready to work for maximum productivity and maximum dollars. Caring for your ice case is super simple. Most of it can be cleaned just with a damp cloth and maybe a little bit of dish soap. The only part that can't be done with just a cloth, the magnetic sun shield with Veltex will require a soft sponge and a little bit of dish soap. Then just leave it out to dry. Everything will be totally fine. That wraps up our ice case instruction video. If you have any questions, any questions at all, hit us up on email, live chat, Instagram, the comment section of this video, or even call us. We'll actually pick up. If you like what you saw today, we'd really appreciate if you left a like, 
drop a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay frosty.